Uh, my name is Mike Crossland. Um, I tend to do um, intraday trading. I rarely hold overnight. And I've been trading since about um, early October of 2019. Um, you know, uh, probably like most people, you just kind of get an idea. You got some money sitting in the bank and you're going, well, how do I how do I make this money work for me? Or can I, you know, and then you let's start looking at things like, you know, uh, I don't know, just, um, savings accounts and things like that. And just the, the interest that you would earn off of stuff like that just really wasn't satisfying to me as far as where I wanted to be in this late part of my life. Cause I'm 55 years old. I toyed around with think or swim for a while. Um, probably November part of December. And I was using the one minute um, moving average and just waiting for it to come across it, just, you know, buying bullish, trying to be bullish positions. So as it goes down and comes up, crosses the five minute moving average, I would, uh, you know, I'd buy in and then it was just too jittery. It would go up and then all of a sudden it would go against me and I'd get out and I'd lose money. And uh, so there was a lot of that going on of me losing money and having to uh, keep funding my account. <laughs> so um, at that point, I decided that I'm not going to be one of those people that quit. I'm going to stick with it. Um, I'm going to succeed at this. This is what I want to do when I retire, when I get out of my company that I own. I want to give that to my, you know, have my daughter run that. And I just want to trade in my retirement. So that I'll have some good cash flow and, you know, not worry about money, hopefully. <laughs> right, right. If things don't go against you, you know, in, in my retirement. So the only thing that I can really compare it to as I'm a musician is the first time you pick up a guitar and you look at the fretboard of the guitar and you hold it in your hands, but you don't quite know what to do with your fingers or how to make music come out of that thing. And I looked at charts kind of in the same way. I'm like, oh, you know, you, you go into Think or Swim and it has all these studies. And I was in there just, you know, going through hundreds of studies going, all right, which one of these is going to make me money? I know I want to keep it simple. I just want to pick one. But, um, but when I got with Dan and, you know, we went with just all the moving average lines and I got to erase all that other crap I had on my screen. Um, and it all started making sense like it did one day when, you know, with my music is one day it's just started happening naturally, you know, to a point where, you know, I can play music and talk to the guitar player while I'm playing because it's just natural now. And this is kind of feeling like that a bit. I couldn't imagine. I was hearing uh, professional traders say you shouldn't enter a trade unless you know exactly where you're going to enter and why you're going to know what your maximum pain is your or where you're going to exit that trade if it goes the wrong way and then you're going to know where you're going to have your final exit from that trade and i for the life of me was like i, I could not figure out how in the world you could possibly know that we don't have a crystal ball you know and as you know, I went through the PS60 course and, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't click then completely. I got it. You know, it seemed pretty simple, but now as I see it more, I can even see it on the five minute chart. Now, um, you know, as we're doing trades on the one hour chart, I'll kind of glance over to the five and, and I can kind of see, ah, you know, this is, you know, this might have some resistance right here, you know, it may pull back right here. And, uh, so my experience with Dan is just the fact that he's just, you know, exploded this cryptic looking, you know, uh, chart into something that I can understand like a language. I would definitely recommend access to trader to other traders. I understand that everybody's got their own personality and, and, and they need to find their own trading style. And I think this trading style um, it, it fits with so many different people, including people that are trading options. I don't know anything about options, but we have a lot of options traders in there that are just raking it in on, on this, you know, because they're getting the information they need using this particular method. 